Yes, sir. What can I do for you? What's up? It's me, Audra, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, I'm not sure how you got here, but certainly I'm glad you came. All right, so finally, after years of wanting to do this, I am doing it. I finally got the courage to do so, and I don't really know exactly where it came from. I think it's some of the changing climates, uh, but I am here with the first ever The Skinny. Uh, what this is, is me talking about skincare products that I liked, didn't like, just kind of going over them, how they work for me, how they might possibly work for you, not sure. I am just now getting into the research portion of this, so please don't come for me really hard that my research is not super extra fantastic. I am working on it. Thank you. Uh, I am no Jen Loves Reviews. I will never be at her level. Like, I'm just going to stay here in my little lane. Uh, so I did want to talk about right quick before we dip into the products why I have always wanted to do skincare. I love makeup. I think it's fun. I think it's beautiful. It's nice to play with. But the reality of all makeup is that at some point, you have to take this off. And all that's going to be left underneath is your face. Your face, that's it. That's that's all there's gonna be left underneath. And I get it, you know, people can look at me and go, well, you have good skin. I, I've been doing my skin forever and I am lucky that I have pretty good genes uh, and that my I don't have a lot of skincare issues and problems. But I remember when I first started getting into YouTube and Instagram and I remember that there were you know, I don't know if you remember this way back, I think 2016 probably, when people were doing like the most the most like some, somebody would have acne and this isn't a dive or a dig at anybody who has acne but somebody would have acne all over their face and then they would proceed to do like all of this color correcting and all this stuff and it would just be like and by the time they were done they had perfectly smooth skin and it was gorgeous and it was fantastic and I admired the artistry however I was always sitting there in the back of my mind going but like the money you spent on all of that, you could you spend it on skin care? skin care? I'm just asking, I'm not trying to be mean, but for me, I looked at it this way, not even as a catfish situation, so don't think I'm going there. I actually looked at it this way. I thought, if that were me and I was going through that and I made my whole face look like that, right? And I go out on a date and the other person has zero idea that I have any skin issues. Like, what are they going to do when I take my face off? Like, what are they going to do? <laughs> like, so I liken that to what I call the rude awakening um, in a Snapchat filter, right? So everybody's been there. You're playing with your Snapchat filters and you're like, oh yeah, oh yeah. And then you get out of that, fil like you just move just the right way for a second. And oh my God, you're like, who is this ugly bitch staring at me? Oh my God, it's me. It is you, but you're not ugly. It just, all of the filters and effects that made your skin just perfectly smooth, no issues, and for a black person, lighter in tone. I don't know if it does that for the rest of y'all, let me know, but for black people, I am a completely different color than I really am in real life when I use a Snapchat filter. Um, also, it changes, completely changes the shape of my face. So when you get out of that, it is a rude ass awakening. You're like, Ugh. And that's how I felt about the way makeup was going at that time. Uh, luckily, we're moving into a more of a natural thing, and if that's your thing, awesome. If it's not, whatever. Like, makeup is fun, skincare is skincare. But <laughs> I looked at that and I thought to myself, I would never want to have a rude awakening. I have, in fact, done my makeup up to a point before that when I took my makeup off, I was like, and not like sad that I had done a badass look. I was more sad that I didn't look like that. I love skincare and a big reason I'm so excited to be bringing this to you guys is because I want to always love the face underneath this. When I take my makeup off, I'm so thankful that I take it off and I'm like, girl, you look good. <laughs> And I've done that for years and I want to be able to bring that to everyone else to where you can also do that if you don't already do it. And if you do, just to be able to find some more products or things like that that maybe you hadn't thought of. So with, without further ado, let's get into this whole thing. 
Okay, so first up is this body oil by Katfa. It's an energizing, rejuvenating, and invigorating body oil. Okay, so if you are not a fan of body oils, I don't know what to tell you. You're not gonna like it, I don't know. Uh, for me personally, before I get into any of the ingredients, what I like about it is it feels good, it's hydrating, it feels very hydrating on my skin. Um, and I don't have to use tons of it, so that's another thing that I enjoy. I've used, but remember when I received this, I think I got this in maybe the Pop Sugar, and I'll link that in one of these corners here. I can never remember which side it's on. I'm never going to be professional enough to know which side I'm supposed to point to, so don't come for me on that. But I believe I got this in a Pop Sugar. Uh, it leaked, quite a bit of it leaked, but I still like it. I was actually surprised. I, originally when I started using this, I thought, so here's the thing. I have been using baby oil on my skin for an eternity. I have baby soft, buttery skin. I'm, I'm not going to coat it. I really do. People touch my skin and they do weird things. They get weird. Not do weird things to me, but they're like weird. They're like, oh my god, your skin's so soft. What are you using? I'm like, uh, I'm special. No, but I, since I can remember as far back as I, re I can remember, at least I know it when I was 13, I was using baby oil in the shower. So what I would do is I would wash my body, do all that stuff, then baby oil up, rinse, and then dry myself off. and like air dry, and then my skin was all, so... <laughs> That being the case, I had recently uh, stopped using baby oil in the shower because I'd started using a lot more body scrubs, love them, and uh, so I didn't need them as much and I was using a lot more body butter so I didn't want to just have the combination of too much stuff happening because sometimes, girl, when I was out in that Texas heat, I was cooking like bacon. But with this, I really like it. It absorbs very well, which is another thing I wasn't prepared for, which is why I had been so resistant to using body oils because I truly felt like they would just be like oil on my skin and wouldn't absorb. And this actually really absorbs very, very well. Once you just kind of rub it into the skin, it's in the skin, it's nice, it's soft, it's beautiful. And to top it off, the scent is not overpowering. It's not one of those like, extra floral, extra fragrant body oils that makes you feel like you just rolled in all of the flowers. It actually has a bit of a, what I would say, a more of a masculine scent. Um, it, it, it's not intense, it's very light, and it's so light in fact, this is one of the reasons I love it. It's so light that if I wanna put perfume on, I can, and the two do not fight. And I've worn several different perfumes when using, when using this, and I have not run into a situation where they, the two clash. So ingredient wise, what makes this great is one, it is alcohol free. Um, it does have some key, the key ingredients for it are antioxidants, um, which are go to cola. Please don't beat me up, I'm looking at my notes. Pronouncing things is not always my, my forte. Go to cola, uh, and it's that centenel, centella azetica extract uh, and fruit extract, uh, as well as vitamin E. So it feels amazing. And the soothing is the go-to cola. The skin brightening is the fruit extract. So I really like that. I might try to put some of this stuff down here because my pronunciation is shit. But I really like this. It feels good and it also has sunflower oil in it which is emollient and we all wanna be emollient. But it is emollient and it does do all of the things. There's really not a drawback to this one. I um, was surprised. So with this, you actually get a pump, which I do. At first, I didn't like it, but I kind of like it. And I'm just gonna squirt a little bit on my hand here so you can get a little bit of a look at it. And the oil is, I'm gonna do this right here to my hands and my arms so that you can actually see how it looks on the skin. It just gives you like a nice little sheen. But notice I'm not oily or greasy. Right, I'm not greasy. It is a little bit more on my hands, but your hands are always gonna be like that. I will definitely say that. Your hands will definitely hold on to it more because they're hands. But um, my skin itself doesn't hold it. It's so good for the ashy elbows. When you get ashy elbows, oh, I hate that. So good for all of that. Doesn't make me feel weird. I like, the, like I said, the smell is just, it's not an overpowering scent. It's nothing that you're like sitting there going, What's that smell? What's that smell? In fact, within five minutes, probably three for me once it's on, I don't even notice it. And sunflower oil is really, really good for your skin. 
It has been used for hundreds if not thousands of years. Uh, so this is a really good plant-based ingredient to have and I like that. And really there wasn't a lot of negatives for this particular oil. Like I, I just, I don't know what to say, but there's not a lot of negatives. I like it. If you like body oils, then I would say that you would probably like this one. So price wise, if you want this size that I received, it is $58, but I would say it, it is a lot, but skincare, I'm just going to go ahead and say from moving here on out, skincare, I'm just going to say the prices and whether or not I would pay for it. I would actually buy this. The small one ounce is $18. The reason I would is because you do not have to use large amounts of it. And in fact, you can concentrate it on areas that you're having issue with. So for instance, I have a birthmark that literally goes all over my body for the most part. It starts kind of in my neck. So there's like some discoloration on my neck here and here, and that's all a birthmark. Um, which is one of the reasons why I don't do a lot of work matching a foundation and, and bringing foundation down to my neck other than the fact that I'm menopausal and sweat like a mofo. So I'm not trying to be all like... <sighs> but I have a birthmark. It goes down through here, through here. There's a line down my stomach, all through here. And there are times, usually when the seasons change, that this whole area just flares up. So I would really just concentrate it in these areas where I'm having issue with my birthmark and then once that passes then I'm good to go. So I personally I find this worth it to me. It's a really good body oil. It's not overly fragrant. It goes into your look look at it. It absorbs very quickly and very well. It does not leave a greasy feeling at the end of it. That's the other thing I like. It doesn't feel greasy to me. It just feels nice. It feels like a really good lotion. That's I think what I like about this oil is it doesn't feel greasy. It feels like a really good lotion as opposed to oil. And it's great for me to sleep in because I often wake up and I feel refreshed. My skin feels great. And I just feel like I'm ready for the world. So that is the cat fuck. And I hope this doesn't go for fucking ever, which is why, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so next up is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. Okay, I have mixed feelings about this one. Uh, I feel like there's something on my head. It's my hair. I have mixed feelings about this one. It does gently cleanse. A little too gently, if I'm gonna be honest. A full face of makeup, I took this on vacation with me and I forgot to bring my uh, Hadalabo cleanser and ooh, I was very lucky that the hotel actually had face wipes, makeup remover wipes in there because this does not take off a full face of makeup. It really doesn't. Uh, it's, it's a good cleanser. But if you're looking for it to take off your makeup, it doesn't. And I am not, I'm gonna tell you right now, I am not a person that uses a lot of makeup remover and all this kind of stuff. I don't wanna have 47 steps just to get the makeup off, if that makes sense. So the only thing that I would really get in that realm was the uh, Clean Zero from Vanilla. I, I That I'll have, you know, cause that's one, and then I'm just like kinda washing my face and moving on about my business. With this, I just felt like, there was still so much product left on my face and I felt like I had to keep washing it and I don't like to put that much pressure on my face every single time I'm gonna wash it. So that was my personal experience. As a cleanser, just when I don't have makeup on, fantastic. It does say that it, it removes uh, makeup, even mascara, without stripping the skin of essential moisture, which is true, it does, but not fully. I found that I would be taking off quite a bit of product after the fact. I would wash with this and then I was just like, okay, how long? And I kept trying different lengths of time that I should rinse my face. I did it with my eyes open. I like just massaged this area. Uh, and what I found was it just really wasn't good for getting the whole face of makeup off. I like it if I'm just cleansing my face. I like this. If I use it with the Clean Zero, I like it. But by itself, not so much to remove makeup. But when it does come to ingredients, the uh, as Asorbyl Palmitate, is an antioxidant and it's considered an icky ingredient. Most everything in it is good. It is perfumed. I didn't like, I'm with Jen Love's reviews on this one. I know I mentioned her a lot, but she is like the queen and guru of ingredients. I am not, but 
I mention her a lot because I'm also in her live streams and I like, I like like going to her for reviews and listening to information that she says because she's way better at this than me and she is fantastic at giving the details on why. But when it comes to fragrance, some people are just very sensitive to fragrance. I am not. Not sensitive in the way that if there is a fragrance, it's gonna ruin my life, it doesn't bother my skin, fragrance doesn't bother my skin, there are people who it does. So that one's considered icky, but most everything else in it is good. Uh, it has the le lecithin, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. That is an emollient and then most emulsifying ingredient, so it definitely helps your skin to be plump and full and sexy and sassy. Then it has a different antioxidant, which is to tocopherol, and that one is a goodie. And then um, the soothing, what I like is the aloe. So aloe is in here. It is a soothing uh, ingredient. I like that a lot. Then there's glycerin, which is good for the skin. It's a skin identical ingredient. What that basically is, is like we have glycerin in our skin. So using, not all, but using glycerin is mimicking what your skin already does, which helps to keep all your moisture and your skin hydrated and your skin lovely and not stripping the skin of all the good things that it has. It, it is also considered a superstar ingredient. So I do like this, I'm gonna tell you, but I would not, Ooh, I probably wouldn't purchase this one. I'm glad I got it. I got it in one of my boxes. I cannot remember which one. Again, please don't beat me up. Please, please don't beat me up. Um, <laughs> but on on Sephora, it is thirty-eight dollars for this size, which is the uh, five point one fluid ounce. I just wouldn't purchase this if I hadn't got it in a box. I would. I wouldn't actually buy this. I'm glad I got to try it because I think that this would have been something that I would have been tempted to buy on my own to try because I do love, love, love a product that removes makeup that just kind of eliminates a step for me, but this one isn't it, sis, it's not. All right, up next is the Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Face Grimage. I like this one a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, one of my favorite things about this is that unlike other exfoliants that are usually an exfoliant plus face wash, it is simply an exfoliant. The reason I don't like it to be also plus the face wash is because washing your face is a bit more of an intense process, right? You're doing a lot more of this, removing things, getting things off, and that can be a little too harsh when you add an exfoliant in. Uh, and so that's one of the reasons I really don't like those. I know if you you know, removed your makeup before, but you still want to wash your face, right? And for me, every time I get one that's also a face wash, I just find that I'm, it's too harsh because I'm trying to do too many things at one time. I personally believe that an exfoliant should be an exfoliant and a face wash should be a face wash. And for me personally, I don't like it when the two meet. I just think that one thing, one thing does one thing and the other thing does another thing. I don't like them to hang out and be very good friends. And this fits the bill for me. I love it so much because it's very, very easy to use. I just wet my face a little bit and I use it in the morning. It does not end up making my face red, puffy, broken out. It's that light on my skin. I have combination skin. And for the most part, I don't have a lot of issues or problems with it. But I really like that the the exfoliant thingies in here are not, I'm, I'm gonna use a technical term, thingies. The exfoliant in here is very gentle. And so when I'm using it on my face, one, I'm just exfoliating. You wet your face and then you put this on and you just kind of rub it around your face and hit your problem areas. For me, my biggest problem area is around my nose. So I always try to make sure that I exfoliate that area fairly well. And I can use it every morning and it doesn't make my skin mad. I don't end up with rough bumps. I don't end up with any red, splotchy areas. And like I said, because it is not also a face wash, it is very, very nice and light on my skin. It does not go all crazy and I can really look and see where I need to apply it. So for instance, I have areas on my forehead that sometimes get dry. It's nice to be able to use this to like get rid of that dry skin and I can see it and I'm just like, all right, like that's the spot I need it. So when I'm exfoliating, I'm not doing like my whole face either. That's the other thing I really like about this is I don't have to do my whole damn face every single day. That's another reason I don't like exfoliant face washes because a lot of times I'm not trying to exfoliate my whole face every single day. I may want to exfoliate my entire face every other day or every third day but there are other days in between where I want to concentrate on specific areas and so this is one of the areas where I'm like yeah I just want to concentrate on this area or I just want to concentrate around my mouth and 
my moustache. And so this really fits the bill for me. I love that it does that. I believe a very, last year sometime I got a Muran and that one was an exfoliate face wash. I hated it and I use it to clean my brushes now. So <laughs> no skin off my nose, like nothing, nothing to be mean to Murad. I like their products, but I don't, I do not, I just don't like it when they try to make an exfoliant and a face wash. You guys let me know down below. But I hate it because I feel like there's just too many things trying to be done at one time. And with trying to do all of those things, I think that it's too harsh. I find that it's too harsh washing your face, like trying to wash your face and exfoliate at the same time, I think it's harsh. I feel like if you're doing one thing and then you go do another thing. Uh, plus when I use this, I exfoliate, then I wash my face. And once my face is washed, I'm able to apply serums and do all this calming stuff to my skin after the fact. And I find that if you're using an exfoliant face wash, especially in the morning, if you're on the go and you just have to hurry up and get going, like sometimes I am, and you just throw your moisturizer on, no serums, you don't really give your skin any time in between to just chill out. So that's what I like about this. Ingredient wise, the, it, it hits on the fragrance again. Again, the fragrance doesn't bother me. It's not particularly overwhelming for me. Let me just sniff it again. It just kind of smells like, honestly, it smells a little bit like a lotion. It's nothing super intense. Kind of shea buttery, coconut buttery smell. I don't know if that's what's in it, but that is the scent that I get out. That's the, that's the scent family it reminds me of. It's like shea butter and coconut oil. But it, it's probably the almond ash extract in there. That, for, that always smells like that to me though. And then just like the other two products I showed you, it is also alcohol free. So I really like this one. I think that the ingredients are very, very nice. I, so that I have researched so far, I'm still learning, but I like the ingredients in it. It's just got the water, it's emollient, uh, it's cleansing, moisturizing, and I feel all of those things. That is the other thing, it has moisturizers in it. So while you are exfoliating, girl, while you are exfoliating, you are moisturizing your skin. So again, it stops it from being harsh. I now have two of these and I'm gonna continue to buy this product. I believe I got both of them in a BoxyCharm, back to back, uh, who cares? I love them, so I'm not mad about it. Uh, but price-wise, it's about $30 for the 5.07 fluid ounces. You're gonna use this for a long time and it lasts for 12 months. So it is a really good one and I like it because I can use it daily. Okay, up next is a weird one, okay? <laughs> I believe I may have gotten this in either maybe my Walmart box or my slut box, I cannot remember, but it's Tend Skin, Tend Skin. Okay, I finally decided to use this. I moved with it and I was like, I'm gonna use this crap. I'm glad, okay? <laughs> Before y'all come for me, Ten Skin is a, for ingrown hairs, razor bump, shaving, and waxing. Now, I looked at this, at, must have looked at it for months, just being like. But let me tell you something. I love it. Okay, so what I do is after I shower, because I shave in the shower, I, I'm one of those people. Some people apparently don't, so sorry. I, I don't know. But I shave in the shower, I shave my armpits, my bits downstairs. Um, I have started rolling this onto my armpits and then on my mm -hmm, before I put on deodorant, no lotion, anything, and I just kind of let it air out because I'm an air dryer, in case you're wondering. I am a big proponent of air drying and not wiping yourself down for it with a towel. Uh, and then I air dry. I was surprised by how well this works. It kind of kills me. So especially if you were a shaver, a regular everyday downstairs shaver, and if you have dark hair, dark hair tends to have more ingrown hairs, I find, from other people that I know with dark hair. Uh, I'll research that more for you guys if you want to know, but it seems that when you have thick, coarse hair, you tend to end up with more ingrown hairs and razor bumps than other folks. So this, I was so surprised. I, my reduction, mine personally, uh, my reduction of ingrown hairs and razor bumps is significant. I used to get a lot of them, especially in my armpit, like right in this little spot here. I used to get a lot of them. I haven't been getting them nearly as much. Also my downstairs, same thing. The other weird fun thing about this, I wouldn't say it's fun, it, that does kind of suck. Uh, and it's the icky ingredient, ingredient in this, which is the isopropyl alcohol. Um, I will tell you, if you need to change out your razor, this will tell you 
it will definitely let you know you'll get a little bit of a burn so the good side of it is I've been changing my razor a lot more often which is good for me and that's probably another reason why I started getting ingrown hairs as much because I wasn't changing out my razor enough but the other thing about this is it does have glycerin in it so it's not horrible for your skin and I do not you can't use it indoors don't don't put it inside of anything it's outside it's an outside product um, but I do use it on the top like the outer hill uh, and I have I really like this my skin the actual skin there is a bit softer than it was before which I like and it's made it easier for me to shave moving forward using it daily has done that for me so I really like that but it's just making it easier like I don't know I, I don't know how you guys feel about it but I ended up really liking that uh, that fact about it so I would say yes the ingredients that I saw for it weren't all angry uh, the majority of them were like, hey girl, you're doing a good thing, you're living your best life. And I was like, <laughs> thank you. So price wise, to get this size, it's $15.95 and it is refillable. And then to be able to refill it, depending on which size you want, it's also $15.95. So you can just have this one and then refill it and then you're having a good time. Uh, personally for me, I would probably only refill it twice and then buy another one just because of the little rollerball on the top. It has a little rollerball, guys. But because of the little rollerball on the top, I would most likely, for me, that's me, I'm a weirdo, I would want to exchange it out like every two to three months and make sure that I have like a brand new fresh rollerball that has no more weird stuff on it. Okay guys, I hope you made it this far to the final, final item in the skinny this week. Uh, is the 111 Skin Cryoactivating Hydrogel. Now, I'm gonna say, th say this price right up front because uh, I kind of like this. Like, th there's a weird mid-ground, I'll get into it, but it's $200 for this. However, it does have a 12-month shelf life, and honestly, you use a very small amount of it because it is a cryogel, and I'll just show you what it looks like in here. Let me see here if I can go like this. I'll show you. You do not use a ton of this. You would more than likely have this for probably six months before you would have to buy more of it. And I'm telling you that as I've been using it regularly, and I'm literally like boop, 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 done. Like it's, it's, yes. So when it comes to using it, I am gonna tell you one of the things that does make me hesitant, I know I said I'm not sensitive to smells. However, this smells like a whole ass perfume aisle. So that is one of the things that definitely draws me back from it and why I more than likely wouldn't purchase this. Me, I wouldn't because it is very, very fragrant. And in fact, six of the icky issues it has, and I'm using um, the inside decoder, to, for my ingredients, I that's so cool. I love this thing because it's helping me out with being able to really discern uh, the skin items that I like. Moving on, I'm using Inside Decoder, but six of the icky items all have to do with the fragrance, and it is fragrant. When I'm telling you, like, if I put this on, you would legitimately think that I was wearing perfume. Yeah. You would really think that I'm wearing perfume. That is how fragrant it is. And sometimes it is off-putting when I wear it because when I'm using it, sometimes I'm just kind of like, oh, I don't want to let smell today. But otherwise, it does have uh, the superstar ingredient of glycerin, which I like that that's, I'm learning that. Glycerin is a superstar ingredient. Uh, I like that it does have that. It also has emulsifying um, items, viscosity controlling items in it. Uh, so some of these I cannot pronounce. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it, it also has betaine. Betaine. I can't. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but betaine, which is a moisturizer and a humectant, and lecithin, which is emollient and uh, emulsifying, emollient emulsifying ingredient. So it's very, very good. It makes your skin feel plump as. I am not lying. When I do put this on, my skin just feels like And my skin looks luminous, luminous. I am not kidding there. I wake up in the morning and my skin looks amazing when I put this on my face to go to it. Like, I've been wearing it morning and night. It is really pretty. It may, does make my skin look really pretty. It has been making my skin look feel very, very soft, but I'm, I'm not gonna lie. 
the smell is out of this world. So sometimes it just isn't my, mm, isn't my deal. It does have aloe vera in it. So that is another good one. But otherwise, I just, uh, at a $200 price tag, and like I said, I'll spend whatever on skincare as long as I know that it works. This does work, but my problem is, even though it works, and I know that I could probably, like this would more than likely last me about six months, my issue with it is that smell, and I cannot, I can't harp on it enough. It is so fragrant that it's not just like, oh, it's got fragrance, and it is like, it's got fragrance. So it is, it, it, I just don't like that I feel like I'm putting the whole perfume aisle on my face at one time. It feels like all of the perfume bosses have just spritzed me and I'm like, ugh. But otherwise, the product works really, really good. It has no alcohol in it, it's alcohol free. Honestly, if they made this without that smell, if they took all of the perfumes out, like the, not, maybe not all of them, just some of them to where it doesn't smell so damn fragrant, I would definitely recommend this. I would say like, yeah, if you are a person who will spend $200 on one skincare item, then fuck yeah, this is for you. But for that, with all that smell, I'm glad I got this in a, I think uh, I may have gotten it in an Ipsy, I'm not sure, but I'm glad I got it for free. Well, not free. I'm glad I got it in a beauty box because there's no way, if I had gone out and bought this, I would be hot. I would be pissed off because of the smell. So anyway, that's it guys. That is my first ever episode of The Skinny. I don't know if it's an episode. I don't know what to say about that. But I just thought it would be fun to start doing this. Uh, once a week is what I'd like to do. If you guys like this, let me know. If you hate it, then just tell me, like thumbs down the video and then that way I know I won't even bother preparing or prepping for another The Skinny ever again. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's so much fun for me. I really, really, really love doing skincare content and I really like to kind of group five items together that I've been trying for a while because then that way I'm not hitting you with like a video all the time about one item unless that one item is so insane that I have to talk about it by itself. But I thought it would be fun if I did this on a weekly basis because there's so many different skincare items that I'm using and it would be so nice. And it's not just my face. You notice it's your body. It's, it's gonna be all things having to do with the skin and not just your face. But I just thought it would be great to be able to do this and I'm trying, I'm usually trying so many different products that I like to be able to give it time and this actually gives me more than enough time to try all these different products and be able to come back to you in stages of what I've used, whether or not I liked it, talking about the ingredients. So that is that guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please give me a big thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, say hello below, drop an emoji so I know that you're new and I can say hello to you because we're getting closer and closer to the end of the month and I like to be able to say hello to all of the new subscribers uh, to my channel at the start of the next month. So that is that. That is this. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you have not already, please consider subscribing because, hey, it's only going to go up from here is my hope. <laughs> All right, guys, time for me to take this guy out. And look, I got a new calendar. What? All right, until next time, deuces!